This is my uh, HF antenna that I installed. Uh, it's a four element, and there, that's the uh, center feed point. And if you go down, uh, it goes uh, 10 meter, drops off at the first uh, thing here, and then it, go, it continues on to uh, 20 meters, and then uh, goes into um, uh, 40 meters, and then 80 meters. And uh, the, the longest element is the 80 meter, of course, and that's 117 feet end to end. And it goes uh, all the way down to uh, the tree back here. I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but because uh, I it's kind of stealthy, that's the way I wanted it. I wanted to have it stealthy. So, uh, and, and, and I don't know if you noticed uh, the uh, ten element, ten meter element uh, wire came loose. I'm going to have to drop it down. The good thing about uh, the way I have it rigged up, I have it on a pulley system on the tree and uh, if you notice as I get closer you'll see it. Uh, I uh, weighted it down with uh, a uh, an old one gallon uh, water jug with uh, mortar mix in it and another can that I used, used on the other older antenna. Uh, and it goes up with rope to the pulley and then in so if and and I add you know, I have to do is uh, take the weights off and uh, there's enough rope at the end here that I can uh, let the antenna down to work on it if uh, anything goes wrong it, which is a vast improvement <laughs> to the uh, old method that I had I had uh, uh, had it on the pulley system, but I didn't have the rope hanging, you know, extra rope. And it was uh, at a different uh, place on the house. And uh, I don't know if, let's see if we can get closer so you can see uh, zooming in a little bit. The uh, other antenna, this antenna here, that's for my FM, that's FM broadcast uh, for my low power uh, Halloween sounds. And I uh, can't offhand remember what frequency we use, but uh, during Halloween time, we uh, broadcast Halloween sounds through that. And then, uh, yeah, you know, I didn't want to use speakers because that would disturb the neighbors. So this is the alternative. If they want to listen to it, they just turn the radio on that frequency and they got it. And uh, that's all I have for now. And uh, uh, the antenna works fairly well. Of course, my wife brought it to my attention that the uh, had the uh, 20 meter element on this end come down, and the 10 meter element uh, came loose on there. And all it is is it's uh, through the PVC pipe and then glued. So I had to uh, put it through again and glue it a little better. I already got the 20 meter on this uh, side. Now I got to do the 10 meter on the other side. And I may as well check all the rest of them. And you know, it's uh, the strain of it. But the, the reason I use the weights like that on the pulley system is uh, if the wind gets a little rough, trees uh, go all over the place. Uh, it has a, a nice loose uh, system there so it can uh, flex with the trees. So if the trees bend the opposite direction, that the uh, it'll just pay out on the pulley. So that's uh, what I did for that. So I don't have any snap lines. Even with that system, I still wind up with uh, snap lines. But the uh, the last an antenna that I had up here, uh, it uh, the the rope kind of dry rotted through the years, and it, the antenna came down. But uh, I used doll PVC pipe, uh, you know, for the uh, uh, center conductor and everything, you know, because it uh, works good, you know, that, that way. Uh, and, and if you notice, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, that's a uh, full zoom. But I have a uh, cross 
a PVC cross on there. So if I want to put another antenna, extend it through that same uh, uh, mounting, all I have to do is put a small piece of PVC in another uh, T or a cross, and then I can mount another uh, antenna to that. And then, uh, because I was thinking of doing a loop, so I put it out a little bit further, and then uh, pick some trees. And if you notice, I got plenty of trees. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only problem with that is, is uh, when they die like this one did, you know, th then uh, we got problems because it's going to be hard to get that down without hitting anything unless I uh, uh, use uh, rope to uh, take care of the, uh, you know, the way I want to drop. And that's going to be difficult because uh, the antenna's up, so I'm going to have to bring the antenna down temporarily when I cut that one down and there's, I think, another one down further that's uh, dead that needs to come out yeah there's another one right there so you know it's the only problem with a wooded area trees don't live forever and when they die yeah you have a little bit of trouble trying to get them down man it's humid out here today it's a nasty day out here today but uh, and there's another uh, couple of dead trees over here which are really going to be tricky because they got the uh, telephone lines for the other house next door right near there and the house is of course right here so those two are going to be be really really difficult but uh, I'll figure something out you know I uh, have to take the dog trolley down probably that's this wire here because uh, yeah, we don't have a fence on that one side so we put them when we let them out we put them on a trolley and then uh, take him for frequent walks. He enjoys walks. Okay, that's all I have for now. Uh, see you next time.